Like many tech stocks, um, the stock price of NVIDIA has had a great run off the March lows last year, down at, what, below $200 a share. And recently, in the last few days, has traded out to all-time highs, um, up at $648 a share. But is it overstretched? Um, is now the time to sell? Or actually, is this just a sign of more gains to come? We've recently had earnings from NVIDIA, so I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at them as well from a technical point of view, because they are just having a look and trying to break out through those highs from um, the middle of April. So as usual in this video, I'll talk a bit about the recent earnings, the levels to watch, then we'll come back, up, come back onto the chart, look at things in a bit more detail and see from a technical charting perspective, are there opportunities? Hello, I'm David Jones from Capital.com and today on our Stocks channel, I thought we'd take a look at the chip manufacturer uh, NVIDIA. There's a lot of focus clearly on the tech sector considering the bounce it's had um, over the last 12 months. NVIDIA is no exception. So as usual, in this video, I'll talk a bit about some of the recent news, the earnings, then we'll jump back uh, onto the platform, take a look at things in more detail and see what the charts look like. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, if you could click on subscribe, it does help support the channel and it means we can continue to push out lots of different content throughout the week. Okay, let's get into it and look at NVIDIA in a bit more detail. So as I said, um, they're a tech company designing, manufacturing, uh, graphics processing units, uh, GPUs, as well as also being involved in chips for the, the mobile and automotive sectors. The company was founded back in 1993 and came to the market during the, uh, the dot-com frenzy. Uh, they debuted uh, on the stock market via their IPO in January 1999. We've just had their first quarter earnings. They came in um, at the end of May, slightly ahead of expectations, I think by about 10%. Earnings per share came in at $3.66. They did say they were expect, um, experiencing supply problems uh, with some of their products. Their graphics cards, for example, they said certain of these are being snapped up by those uh, who need that power for, uh, for mining cryptocurrencies. So the company did say that it expects graphics cards to stay in short supply for some time. But it also hoped its new chips um, would help alleviate the problem here, and, and it had um, designed them, targeted them towards the, the crypto mining market to try and free up um, supply of its traditional graphics cards. It's been a great run for the share price. At the time of recording, the shares, the stock is trading at all time highs. It's up 80% from a year ago. So can it continue this sort of strength? It's normally bullish when a share is at all time highs, but let's not forget how far the tech sector has come in the last 15 months. Let's take a look at the levels to watch, then we'll jump back on the platform and take a look at the charts. When it's all-time highs, we're really plucking out, I think, psychological levels for the next target. So $675, $700 a share, that sort of area, I think, is, is a reasonable one to target from here. On the downside, um, clearly lots of levels of support left. We'll take a look at them in a minute. Uh, the first of these coming in around $618 a share. But as usual, um, to put some colour on these numbers, let's take a look on the charts. I thought we'd start with a bit of a, a longer term view for NVIDIA. The, the previous all-time high uh, was back, back here, October 2018, um, just ahead of $300 a share. They did actually push through those uh, in late Feb 2020, was the last time before now uh, that we saw them break out to all-time highs. But of course, we all know what happened then, uh, the coronavirus pandemic spread, the shares got hit. So they slid from about 315 down to towards sort of 185 180 area. But since then, of course, tech stocks have enjoyed a boom, as have other uh, sectors of the market as well. So I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at what's going on now. We did see this recovery off those March lows start to run out of momentum in um, September of last year. And I think it's fairly safe to say that until mid-April, it was trading in, in a fairly broad sideways range. If we put a moving average on this, you can see that the stock price is moving sideways. Moving averages never very good in sideways markets because the price is just flip-flopping around um, the moving average, giving us buy and sell signals um, fairly regularly, as you can see in this period here from November through to Feb. But things have changed. We've really recently seen the price um, move out very briefly through these previous April highs, move through the moving average 
on the 20th of May. And this is traditionally considered a bullish signal. If we take a look at the RSI down here, um, not surprising perhaps given the strength over the last couple of weeks, we've seen that that 10 day RSI nudge into um, overbought. The last time uh, the RSI was overbought, we've got to go back to April. Uh, and it did eventually within a week or so mark an important top or short term top for the stock. Same again back here uh, in February. So perhaps if somebody was thinking about buying in from a technical perspective, uh, they may be tempted to, to wait and see if we get something of a pullback for the price here, given that the RSI is saying that things are slightly overstretched. But looking at the price action, we do have potentially a new trend starting. You know, it, it, it broke out in February through the previous highs. That didn't last very long. Sells off. Um, broke out again in April. Same story. That breakout failed, sold off, but we made a higher low. And we've seen again by the, the smallest of margins almost uh, a breakout this time around. So if, if this did fail, I think technical analysts would be watching um, this trend line here, this trend line is coming in around 560. You know, for me, these lows down here are important around about 537. So the move in Nvidia from a technical point of view is a bullish one because the stock is showing, uh, showing some strength. Whether it powers higher from here, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, at least with this new uptrend in place, um, I think many chartists would treat any weakness um, as a buying opportunity. If we took a step right back, I think if it's only if it falls back below those early March lows at around $460 a share, does it start to look as if really the recovery is well and truly over. But at the time of recording, the stock certainly looks strong. It'll be interesting to see if we do get a dip from here, where does that dip hold? And do we continue this, uh, the first signs of this new trend that's been in place since early March? That's it for the update on NVIDIA. We'll see if it continues to push out to um, all-time highs. We'll come back to it in a couple of months' time and do an update. But for now, from me, David Jones and Capital.com, we'll leave things there. Good luck with your investing. For more trading videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel.